Today's podcast looks at the popular ballad William Taylor, a tale of deserted love, cross-dressing, a brave heroine, betrayal and revenge. I will also sing some samples of tunes and end with a full performance. William Taylor was a British young sailor, he who courted a lady fair. Bells are ringing and sailors singing, and to church they did repair. Thirty couples were at the wedding, they were dressed in rich array. Instead of William getting married, he was pressed and sent away. She dressed herself in man's apparel, man's apparel she put on, for to seek her own true lover, for to find him she is gone. That tune was collected by Cecil Sharp in 1903 from two of his earlier song sources, Lucy White and Louis Hooper of Hambridge in Somerset. William Taylor is about to be married to Sally Gray when he's either taken by a press gang or enlists to serve in the army. Sally dresses up in sailors' or soldiers' clothing and enters service in search of her lover. During an exercise, or a friendly scuffle, a button is torn off her jacket and she's revealed as a woman. The captain tells her that William is about to marry another. She tracks him down and shoots him. The captain gives her a command or marries her. In some American versions of William Taylor, it has a more moralistic ending in which the heroine drowns herself after killing William Taylor. William Taylor dates back to the mid-1700s. The earliest printing was in 1792 in a chapbook called Four New Songs. It has been printed in a wide number of broadsides which may explain the relative standardisation of the words collected from traditional sources. The song had a general variance of either being a soldier or a sailor song. The broadside tends to follow the sailor version. The 18th century brought about a renaissance in the arts, theatre and music and this had an influence on attitudes in the writing of broadsides and popular song. A new form of musical theatre started in the early 1700s known as the ballad opera, which used popular song forms, tunes and ballads from the street, often with new lyrics. The ballad operas were popular between 1729 and 1750, and they had satirical and racy dialogue as well as songs. The main characters became barmaids and highwaymen and soldiers and sailors. They drew upon popular stories and ballad plots to create a new musical expression. They used popular tunes as sung in the streets, the most famous ballad opera was The Beggar's Opera, which was written by John Gay and performed in 1729. These operas reflected the way in which attitudes had changed in British society. The changing attitude influenced the songs and ballads produced in the 18th and 19th century, which moved away from the legendary to the practical. The ballad became a more bolder style with third-person viewpoints. The characters moved from symbolic lord and lady to the more domestic William and Susan or John and Nancy, and the action took place in everyday situations rather than in castles and silver woods. If Willie Taylor is your lover, he has proved most false to thee. He has married another lady and left you lonely upon the sea. She rose early in the morning, early at the break of day, and there she met her Willie Taylor, walking along with his lady gay. Good morning to you, Willie Taylor, what misfortune brought you here? When did you hear from your true love, Nancy? Whom you left the other year. It's what care I for my love, Nancy. What care I for her or you. When my fiddle strings grow older, I buy fresh ones and make them new. Then she ordered up her sword and pistol, sword and pistol at her command. And there she shot this Willie Taylor, left his bride upon the strand. 
The tune and words were collected by Peter Kennedy in 1952 from Jim O'Neill of County Armagh in Ireland. Cross-dressing by women to find their true love was not new in literature. Shakespeare had several plays in which women dressed up as men as a central plot device. The street songs also adopted this device to spice up plots. Songs such as Jack Munro, The Female Highwayman, Farewell My Dearest Dear, which were popular songs then as they are now. The rise of the Royal Navy and more formal army careers led to a general concern about real issues. This also influenced the ballad plotlines and characters. Some of the collective versions portray William Taylor as a soldier rather than a sailor, and it might well have been that the ballad started out in this form. The song Jack Monroe, which is contemporary to William Taylor, also started its life as a soldier song and later changed to a naval song, the most popular version being the American song jack The storyline of both songs are very similar, but with different endings. The lady rescues her lover in the Jack Monroe ballads. The 20th century song collectors found the song William Taylor in both soldier and sailor forms and widespread across England and Ireland. The song was very popular as a late 19th century stage song. Lucy Broadwood traced a version as sung by Mr Bannister Jr. at several theatres with great applause. The fate of a number of ballads ended up as comic turns on the stage and in the music hall. It was easy to spoof up these songs and make them melodramatic, as was found in the riders of the parodies during the 1990s. In 1908, an audio recording by Percy Granger of a version of William Taylor, sung by a Lincolnshire singer Joseph Taylor of Saxby in Lincolnshire, was one of the first commercially produced folk songs from a traditional singer. And I'll end this podcast with that version of the song. I'll sing you a song about two lovers Oh, from Litchfield town they came The young man's name was William Taylor Sarah Gray was the maiden's name William Taylor he has listed For a soldier he has gone He has gone and left his own true lover For to sigh and far to mourn Sally's parents did despise her, filled her heart with grief and woe, and then at last she vowed and told them, for a soldier she would go. She dressed herself in man's apparel, man's apparel she put on, then far to seek her own true lover, For to seek him she is gone. One day as she was exercising, Exercising one, two, three, Her silver chain pulled down her waistcoat And exposed her lily-white breast. The sergeant major stepped up to her, Asking her what brought her here. I've come to seek for my true lover, who was proved to me severe. If you've come to seek your own true lover, I pray you tell to me his name. His name it is bold William Taylor, oh from Litchfield town he came. If his name be William Taylor, William Taylor is not here. He's lately married a rich young lady worth ten thousand pounds a year. If you rise early in the morning, just before the break of day, right here you'll find Bull William Taylor walking out with his lady gay. Then she rose early in the morning. Just before the break of day, and there she spied her William Taylor walking out with his lady gay. And then she called for a sword and pistol, which were brought at her command. She fired and shot that William Taylor with his bride at his right hand. And then the captain stepped up to her, pleased it well with what she'd done. 
He took her and made her a bold commander over a ship and all its men.